All right, boys and girls, we're going to play Feed Me the Letter. So we are going to figure out what letter we are looking for and what starts with this letter. And the monster is going to eat whatever starts with this letter. Okay, so the first letter is... W. Good. Now, you tell me, what is the monster going to eat? So these things have to start with W. So, I'll put the W right here so you can see it. And you're going to tell me, is the monster going to eat the watermelon, the cheese, or the watch? Which one start with W? Is the monster going to eat the watermelon? That one was a little bit easy because the watermelon was already on there. So let's feed the watermelon to the monster. Help me make the sound a monster would make while he's eating watermelon. You ready? All right, and there is another one that starts with W. Is it cheese or is it watch? Which one starts with the W sound, like wa watermelon? If you said watch, you are right. So let's feed the watch to the monster. Watch might be kind of crunchy. All right. Is the monster going to eat the cheese? No. Cheese starts with C. All right. Our next pictures are a carrot, a bus, and blueberries. So, what letter do you think we're looking for? What letter do you think it might be? We are looking for things that start with the letter B, good. B for ball. B, B, ball. So I will put it right here so you can remember. So, is the monster going to eat a carrot, a bus, or blueberries? What do you think? If you said blueberries, you were right. Blueberries, here we go. Mm. Oh, blueberry squirted me in the eye. Just kidding. And is he going to eat the carrot? No, no carrot. Is he going to eat the bus? Bus? Yes, because bus starts with B. Do you think that monster could eat a big giant bus? Let's see. All right. Let's see what the next letter is. Here's the picture. Zebra. Pizza. Zipper. Any guesses? What do you think the letter we might be looking for is? We are looking for things that start with Z. Z for zebra. I will hold it right here for us. And is the monster going to eat the zebra? Yes. Do these zebras both look alike? Not really. This looks more like a real zebra, and this is more like a cartoon zebra. 
but they are both zebras and they both start with Z. So we, the monster is going to eat the zebra. Nom, 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 nom. All right. What's next? Is he going to eat the pizza or the zipper? Can you guys see that zipper? It's kind of hard with this light here. Let me try and show it to you without the bright light. Kind of hard for you guys to see. Kind of better. A little bit. Okay. Zipper or pizza? He's going to eat the zipper. Zip. Zip. Uh oh. The monster's mouth was zipped closed. Oh my goodness. And he's not going to eat the pizza. All right. Let's put our next pictures. We have a rainbow. We have steak, which is one of my favorites. And we have a rabbit. What letter do you think we're looking for? What is your guess? Guess the letter you think we're looking for. We are looking to feed the monster things that start with R. R for rose. So I will hold it here. And is the monster going to eat the... <gasps> oh, that was silly. Is the monster going to eat the rainbow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mmm, tastes like Skittles. Mmm, me love Skittles. All right. Is the monster going to eat the rabbit? Do you want the monster to eat the nice, sweet, little... Nom, 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 rabbit. Well, he ate the rabbit because rabbit starts with R. What do you think would happen if the monster ate a rose? Nom nom nom. Ouch, 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 ouch. Nom nom. Ouch, ouch, ouch. He would get poked because roses have thorns on their stem. Okay, let's do a couple more letters. I have umbrella, octopus, and unicorn. What letter do you think we're looking for? Well, I have two of the same letter, but both the pictures already match both of these pictures. So I'll pick this one. We are looking for the letter U. The letter U for umbrella. Is the monster going to eat the octopus? No. Is he going to eat the umbrella? Yes, because we already see it right here. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, yummy. Is the monster going to eat the unicorn? Yes, because unicorn starts with you. And let me show you this has two U's and both had either a unicorn or an umbrella. So either one I picked, you were going to know. So while it's on unicorn, I want to tell you something about the unicorn. So you guys should be getting, or you might have already got something in the mail. And you have some colorful paper, maybe some pink, orange, blue, green, pink, yellow, blue, green, pink. And then you got some 
unicorn stickers. You got some My Little Pony stickers. And you got some heart stickers. And you have a unicorn horn cut out of paper. You're going to make a unicorn crown or a unicorn hat for your mom for Mother's Day. So the hat is going to fit your mom because Miss Lynette found a special book to read on Mother's Day. And I want all the mommies to feel magical when we read this Mother's Day book. So you guys look at the unicorn and the octopus and the monster for a second. And I'm going to grab the book so I can show you what it looks like. I think you and your mom are going to like this book for Mother's Day. So, you're going to make a unicorn crown because we're going to read this book on Mother's Day. And your mommy does a lot for you. So, we're going to celebrate our mommies for Mother's Day by making her a magical unicorn crown or a magical unicorn hat. And then, don't tell them, but... We're going to read this book on Mother's Day called My Mom is Magical. But don't let them see and don't tell them, okay? Just make sure you decorate that crown beautiful for your moms for Mother's Day, okay? And then when your mommy has her hat on and I read the story, you guys can listen to the story and your mommy will have her magical unicorn hat on and we will read this wonderful book together. All right? So make sure you make that unicorn crown very beautiful for your mom. And then maybe after Mother's Day is over, your mom might let you have it and might let you wear it. So make sure you make it extra special and extra magical so you can celebrate your mom on Mother's Day. All right? Okay. Your mommies can come back. And see the screen now. Also, I need a video of you guys saying, I love you, mommy. I love you, mama. I love you, mom. I love you, mother. Whatever it is you call your mom, I need to have a video of you guys saying that because I want to make them something special. Normally, we would make something beautiful in the classroom for them, but we can't do that this year. So I need a video of you saying, I love you, mom. I love you, mommy. I love you, mama. Okay. All right. I want to share that with you real quick since we came across the unicorn. So the monster's going to eat that unicorn. Nom, 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 nom. All right. One more because I interrupted the letter practice to talk about magical mommies. So we have a dress. We have a donut and we have a vest. What letter do you think we are looking for? We are looking for the letter D for duck. D for duck. And what are we going to feed the monster that starts with D? Does Dress start with D? It might not sound like it, but it does start with D. But it has an R next to it, so it doesn't sound like D, D. It sounds like Dr, Dr, Dress. All right, but Dress does start with D. I'm going to eat me a dress. All right, then we have Donut and Vest. Which one is the monster going to eat? The donut. Nom, 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 nom. We love donuts. Nom, nom. No vest for the monster. All right, that's the letters we're going to practice today. 
if you want to try and write these letters, you could also try and do that. And if you want to just do them on the video, you can do that. But you can always practice writing. It's always good to practice writing so you can be ready when we do go back to school. All right, I have one more thing I'm going to do with you on here before we talk about our bug. One day we did this, we were practicing colors. Now we're going to do something else with these. Make sure I grab them out of here. I got some more. And one, two, three more. Okay, so let's put them on my little shelf here, and then we will do a couple things with it. All right. And then we will have fun in just a minute. All right. Can you guys see the circles? And these happen to be hair ties. Can you see all the hair ties? I think you can. I'm going to use my pin, who happens to look just like Miss Lynette, their crazy hair. And we're going to count these hair ties together. All right, so help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We have 21 hair ties. And then we can also sort the hair ties. And sorting means you're going to put all the things that are the same together. So I'm going to do it by color. I'm going to put all the purple ones together. I'm going to put all the blue ones together. And I'm going to do this other kind of blue separate. This could be together if we said blue, but we'll do light blue and dark blue. And then I will put all the green together. I will put all the yellow together and then I will put the red together okay then we could practice our colors so can you tell me what color this is green this is yellow red this is purple this is blue light blue and this one is dark blue, and that is called sorting or classifying. Sorting or classifying, but we usually call it sorting. All right, that is sorting by color. Now I'm going to take these ones out of the way, and I'm going to take red and yellow, and I'm going to make a pattern. My first one, I'm going to make an easy pattern. Red, yellow, red. What's next? Yellow and red what's next yellow red and the last one is yellow and that's a pretty easy pattern if you already know how to do patterns you probably know how to do that one if you already have been doing patterns for a long time you might be able to do one that's a little bit harder so let's do three colors Let's do a three color pattern. So I'm going to add the green. So let's do red, yellow, green. Red, what's next? Yellow, what's next? Green, and what's next? Red, yellow, Green, what's next? Red, yellow, green. I had to make our pattern go up this way because I ran out of room. 
do you think we could do a four color pattern? Let's try four colors. Let's try. Let's add the dark blue. Let's start with blue, red, green, yellow. And then we're just going to copy that one more time. Blue, red, green, yellow. And if you forget how the pattern is, just go back to the beginning and look. Blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, red, green, yellow. Do I put red next? No. Do I put green next? No. What goes next? Blue. Good. Red, green, Blue, red, green, yellow, blue, red, green, yellow. Good. And we could always do it again. Blue, red, green, yellow. All right. That's patterns. And then I think that's all I was going to do up here because we're going to do something art. We're going to have some fun with art since I practiced your letters already and we did some counting and we did some sorting. Let's make an art picture. <laughs> 